We're going to have the children's story now. And as they come up and collect the offering, the offering goes towards the Worthy Student Fund and towards children's ministries. And since we have everything set up in front here, kids, why don't we all come over here to this side of the sanctuary to this morning? here. Okay. All right. Can everybody see me? Yes. All right. Good morning. Do you guys know what a parable is? No. No? A parable is a story that teaches a lesson. So I'm going to tell you a parable this morning, and I want you to think about what it might mean, because I'm going to ask you when it's all over. Are you ready? All right. There was a man named Rich, but Rich was a very poor man. He had lost everything in a flood, and he, didn't, he had a hard time finding work, and sometimes his family would get really hungry. But things were not all bad for Rich. He had a hobby. Rich loved to collect rocks. You know, rocks are free, so he could enjoy his hobby. And he would find the prettiest rocks, and he would polish them up, and he put his very favorite rocks in a bucket that he carried with him everywhere. He'd carry it with him to work. He'd carry it with him to the store. He'd even carry it with him to church, because these rocks were very precious to Rich. Well, one day, he was standing on a street corner looking for work, when a wealthy man came up to him and he said, hello, can you tell me your story? So Rich told him all about his troubles, how he lost everything in a flood, how he had trouble finding work and how his family was hungry. And the wealthy man said, I'd really love to help you, Rich. If you'd come back to my house with me, I will give you some gold coins. And Rich thought, that sounds wonderful, I'll be rich. And so he followed the wealthy man home. And when he got there, the wealthy man took two huge handfuls of gold coins and put them in Rich's bucket. And Rich was so excited, he ran all the way home to tell his wife, we're rich, we're rich. But when he got home, there was only three coins left in the bucket. And his wife said, well, this is very nice, dear. And this will buy us food for some time, but we're not wealthy. And so they did. They bought food, and they were they were okay for a while, but then they ran out of gold. And Rich got to thinking, you know, that man, he really wanted me to have those gold coins, and uh, maybe I'll go back and ask him if he wants to give me some more. So he went back to the house, and he knocked on the door, and the man came to the door, and he opened the door, and he said, oh, Rich, I'm so glad you're here, you know. When you, when you ran away last time, all of your coins fell out on the street. And Rich said, yeah, 
I don't know what happened there, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to give me some more gold coins. And the man said, sure. And so again, he grabbed two handfuls of gold coins and he put them in Rich's bucket. And Rich was so excited, I'm rich, I'm rich, and he ran all the way home, but still a lot of the coins had fallen out. And his wife said, honey, we're not rich. We, we only have a few gold coins, and you know this will help for a while. And again, he ran out of money, and this went on for a while. And one day when he went to see the wealthy man, the wealthy man said, um, Rich, I don't mean to be pushy, but if you would come to me with an empty bucket, I would fill it full to overflowing. And you would be wealthy beyond your wildest imagination. And Rich said, well, that's very nice, but I couldn't do that. I mean, I have these rocks. They're so precious to me. And so he went away. But then Rich got to thinking. He said he'd fill my bucket with gold, full to overflowing, and I'm hanging on to these rocks? So one day he did something radical. He went out into the forest, someplace he'd never been before, and he dumped out all of his rocks, and he never came back. So now, if you were to go to that town, and you were to come upon Rich, do you know what you'd see him doing? You would see Rich knocking on doors, and saying, hi, I'm rich. Would you like some gold? Now, does any of you have any idea who the wealthy man might be in this story? Jesus. That's right. That's Jesus. Who might rich be in this story? Who do you think? God. I think rich might be like you or like me. What do you think the gold was in the story? Uh, gold? Yeah? Do you think the gold maybe symbolized something or represented something? Love? Exactly right. You know, sometimes we hang on to things in our lives. It could be a toy or a game or maybe even a best friend. And we think that that's more important than God. And we spend more time with that thing than we do with God. But are those things really important? No. So we need to make sure we're always putting God first and letting him fill us with his love. All right, you can go back to your seats.